Greetings and welcome to a new video. This video is a brief introduction to Jewelrain, a completely free software for everybody that can dual boot your iPhone or iPad on iOS 15 with iOS 14. Please keep in mind that this will only work on A11 and lower devices. You can use it both on Linux and Mac OS. The commands are exactly the same. I have tested it on Linux and it has worked just fine for me. Now simply head over to the main GitHub page of Dual Rain. Now to use it, first of all, you will have to clone this repo. Just copy it from here. Then simply you can use this command to clone it. Once done, you will get this Dual Rain folder. Open it and you will get all these files. Now if you scroll down, you can use this command to prepare your device for dual boot for the version of your choice for example you want to dual boot ios 14.3 what you will do is go to ipsw folder and place the ipsw for the ios version you want to dual boot so for example 14.3 then go back then open a new terminal here sudo space all right once done your device will be prepared for dual boot you just have to follow the instructions please keep in mind that you can replace the version here with the version of the ipsw that you have placed here all right when the boot files are created and you want to boost your device now guys for this short demo i have already prepared my device for dual boot it is an a9 device iphone se and it is on ios 15.4.1 you can do it on 15.7.3 or higher meaning any ios 15 version i will dual boot it with ios 14.3 now you can check that from the list of commands to boot your device after preparing it for dual boot we will use hyphen hyphen boot so it will be dot slash dual boot dot sh space hyphen hyphen boot so let's try it all right so i am inside the dual rain folder right click here i will open a new terminal sudo dot slash dual boot dot sh hyphen hyphen and boot my device will go into recovery mode and then we will get it into GFU. So after GFU, the process of booting the device will start. Now it will boot my device into iOS 14.3. If you are doing this for the very first time after preparing your device and booting it, you will have to set it up like you normally do. And finally guys, you can see my device booted into iOS 14.3 just installing. Also guys, if you want to dual boot a nine device, I recommend using iOS 14.2 as a dual boot and not 14.3 because as you can see, the camera on iOS 14.3 is not working, but it will work on iOS 14.2. The very good thing is that if you want to go back to iOS 15 version, you just have to reboot the device and then guys instantly you will go back to whatever version for ios 15 that was installed onto your device now guys if you check out the commands right here you can jailbreak the dual booted ios by using these commands with pale rain or taurin you can see it right here now guys talking about the limitations you can't set a passcode on A10 or A11 devices. So please deactivate it on A9, it is okay. Also, you need about 15 GB of free space for this to work. So 16 GB devices are out of question. So 32 GB and up devices will work. The home button for A10 devices will not work. So please enable assistive touch on iOS 15, then dual boot and the assistive touch will be activated automatically on the dual booted iOS version. You can then install some tweaks 
to enable iPhone 10 gestures. And the same case goes for iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. On iPhone 10, unfortunately, touch screen is not working. Forgotten to mention earlier, Dual Rain does not require any SHSH blobs and it does not require a jailbreak. Now guys, I will try to make a full tutorial with all the required dependencies very soon. I hope this video was helpful. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.